Thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with us. Do you guys consider yourself feminists and why? Um, yeah, I consider myself a feminist because uh, feminism is basically, the understanding of it is that it's like the theory or the movement of finding equality for anyone regardless of gender. I'm an Egyptian, like uh, I'm a brown girl, and I feel like as a feminist, I feel like, like a white guy who's right beside me should also agree to the same ideals as I do for equality for me and for equality for him. I don't think there's any specific type of criteria in order to be a feminist. You don't have to look a certain way or act a certain way to be a feminist. You don't even have to like express the fact that you're a feminist. You can just believe what you believe and then you could be considered a feminist. Mm -hmm. You sometimes even have people who identify as feminism and they misconstrued the idea of like what it means to be a feminist and they kind of come off as like like man haters and like mm -hmm. it's, it's it's really like angry and aggressive but really at at its core that's not what it's supposed to be you know it's supposed to be like like May and Wafa were saying like equal treatment of men and women in all regards I recognize my privilege as a male so I obviously do not go through the same things that women do but I consider myself a feminist and I feel like a lot of guys don't consider themselves feminist at all because they think it's inherently feminine to be one and I feel like a lot of them don't understand what the concept of feminism is and they feel attacked because you know some parts of it is about you know dismantling the patriarchy that men have set up for women and for you know men not being able to show their emotions as well so that's why feminism is good for everyone in the sense that it sort of gives a light onto the issues in society especially when it comes to women there are stereotypes men feel around feminism that I think makes it hard to join men and women in this movement. You were talking about like how it's a big thing with men not being able to show emotion and all that. Like for sure, that's a huge problem, and like it's something that needs, that isn't addressed enough. Like because but feminism, it's all encompassing. It's about treating women equally, but it's also about treating men equally. <coughs> Any superior structure feels threatened and attacked whenever an inferior entity wants a place or a share of what's going on. I don't think I can count uh, how many times I would talk about how important it is for my rights to be equal to someone else's and they would roll their eyes and they'd be like, oh, there she goes again. <laughs> if a man is as bossy uh, as a woman, he's, he's sophisticated and he's a leader, but if a woman is as bossy as a man, she's annoying and she's... Uh, uh, badly tempered. I feel like the word feminism is so powerful because as soon as you start to label it, it becomes uh, that more of a movement. So you don't have to go to rallies, you don't have to go around telling people your views on feminism, but if you just sit there and say, yeah, I'm a feminist and you're proud of it and you're willing to explain that to a person, then that itself is a movement. Plus, it's kind of a similar thing where it's like, oh, it's not Black Lives Matter; it's All Lives Matter. Yeah. But yes, mm -hmm. yeah, I just like that. Yeah. 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 no, but it's like acknowledge the minority, you know, acknowledge the people that are facing the the prejudice more than more than the other other people. Like, of course, like we understand All Lives Matter, but like, not all lives are being threatened by like you know like law enforcement and things like that. These things that have been happening to Black people, and similarly, like the same kind of thing applies to to feminism, like acknowledge that women are the minority in this situation. I have the same thing about the idea of LGBT and Q and, and sometimes, I don't think this is an accurate definition, but sometimes everything gets umbrellaed under the definition of queer. And that concerns me a little bit because I do think that a trans experience is very different than a gay man's experience and a lesbian woman's experience. Mm -hmm. I mean like, there are so many ideas of gender at play here that we can't just put it all under queer, like we have to acknowledge everybody's individual experience. Personally, our school is a very unique situation. We're an arts high school. A lot of us are more accepting. We have more open minds. And I feel like that's just the general, you know, feel of our school, and I'm really thankful for that. Teachers do talk about it. We do have discussions about it in class, which is important. But I know other schools don't. And a lot of other schools still have negative connotations with the word. You know, if someone here, I think we can all agree on this, if someone here said something um, bad about feminism or said something bad about any minority group, like, there would be a storm coming for them. Like, like, you know that like people would call them out. Ignorance is easy to cure, but yeah. there can't be like a barrier. Yeah. Like sometimes there's a barrier when you're talking to someone, they are not willing to listen. Mm -hmm. They believe that your views are yeah. 
just nonsensical. They don't make any mm -hmm. sense. Uh, you've never faced this, and but you don't understand my emotions. Mm -hmm. You'll never understand the suffering of a minority group that you're not a part of. When somebody is willing to listen, I think that's a really nice thing to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah it's like, wow, you actually care to understand more about the world and my point of view on the mm -hmm. world, which is really great to hear. People who just scratch feminism at the, f at the surface think about it as something like male versus female. It actually goes way beyond that, like especially with like racial disparity and like where do trans women mm -hmm. lie on that hierarchy? Like white women are up there, like they're the ones who mm -hmm. are competing with the with like the equal pay and stuff like that. But where are like black women? Where are like uh, Latina women? Like mm -hmm. and where are trans women on that hierarchy? Let's talk about how race falls into this. How like being part of the LGBT community falls mm -hmm. into this. Like I feel like that's an important conversation that we need to have. Uh, like after the feminism conversation, the one that only compares two very large groups together. It has been such a pleasure coming back to my old high school and mm -hmm. chatting with everybody. Um, yes, the, the years have changed, but I feel like the passion in this school stayed the exact same. And I am so happy to hear that after all of these years, you said if somebody identifies as anti-feminist or somebody goes against somebody we love, we're gonna go after them. Like, I love that. I love that. that <laughs> I love that that out. passion is still there. <laughs> Don't leave this conversation. Join our group chat by commenting below and subscribe here.